Hello Google Workspace fans, it's James here to share some more Google Workspace tips and tricks with you. Today we're looking at a feature inside Google Slides that allows you to record your slide deck. So you can have a little video of you in the bottom right hand corner or whichever corner you like. You can record that and then send it out to people. So if you're using Loom or something like that, you don't need to use that anymore. You can do it directly inside Google Slides and this is how you do it. So you can see here we've got a Google Slide Deck open. If you look in the top right hand corner, just below the share button, there's a record icon, record button. If you click that, first time you ever click it, it's going to ask for some permissions to use your mic and camera. But once you've done that, next time you click it, you'll get this pop up, record a new video. So click on that. A new window will open and this is the record window for where you can record your presentation your Google slide deck. You'll see you've got some controls across the bottom. So you've got the record button. Click that when you're happy to record. You've got this function to turn your camera on and off. Uh, because I'm recording this with you, you can't see my camera. So let me see if I can change that. So here I am back again now in the bottom right hand corner of this presentation. I'll keep looking up this way because the camera's up there. But you'll see down at the bottom you've got some controls. So the first one you might to do is move your camera around the screen. You think you click and drag and drop it around, but you don't actually do that. You've got these options here. So if I click on that icon, I can then select which corner I want my camera to be in, or if I want it to be in the center. You can't resize it, but you can just put it in those positions that you want it to be in. So I'm going to put it in the back, bottom right again, or bottom left even. Let's get it back there. So back in the corner. So that's how you move the camera around on your presentation that you're recording. You've then got this button which you can change the PI, the P, it's picture in picture, PIP it stands for, it on the screen. So this is actually how you change the size of the camera. But you can see you don't have that much that you can do. You've got three options to change it. I'm just going to put it in the middle of the screen to see if that gives us any other sizes. Now it's not a lot. It doesn't change by a lot, but that's how you can resize the camera. Next to it, you've got the controls for going through your slide deck. So when you are recording, after you hit the record button down there, this is how you navigate through the slide deck. You've also got this option here when you click on that another window will pop open hopefully you can see that and that's the speaker notes recommend having speaker notes because talking to the camera is really hard to do and if you uh, stutter or anything like that you might want to re-record it so always have some speaker notes that you can refer to it just makes it easier when you're recording a presentation bottom left hand corner just shows that your microphone is being picked up these are your controls for your mic and your camera so if you want to turn them on and off that's where you go to and under the settings is where you pick the devices you're using so you pick the camera you're using you pick the audio that you're using once you're happy and you've got everything set up just hit the record button you are limited to 30 minutes so you can only record for 30 minutes so keep your presentation short to be fair if you're going longer than 30 minutes on a presentation that you're recording it's probably not the right thing to be doing is probably a better way to get that information across but once you're happy hit the record button this window will pop up i'm not sure if you'll see that on the screen but a window has popped up that just asks me permission if i want to go ahead with it and i'll click allow you'll then see there's a timer countdown and now it's going to start recording the video so everything i say and do now has been recorded so if i flip through the slides that's been recorded if i move my camera around because you may have some image behind your camera that you want people to see you can do that while you're recording once you're happy with the recording and you've finished just hit the square button what will happen now is in the top right hand corner you'll see you've got two options you can re-record up here so if you're not happy with it you can hit the re-record button it will start over again and it will wipe everything that you've already just recorded so be careful when you're using that you may want to save it to drive and then do some editing afterwards but anyway once you're happy with it hit save to drive that's now saved the recording to drive you see the bottom left hand corner now it's uploading that to drive once that's done, you'll be able to close this window. It's done it automatically, actually. It's closed the window, and you've seen the video recordings in the top right, that it's now processing those video recordings. Once it's finished processing those video recordings, you can record a new one if you want to. If you record a new one, you'll just have a list of all the recordings you've done under here, under this record button. You'll have a number next to it. It's only got one there at the moment, because I've only done one recording, but you'll have you know, the number of reflect how many recordings you've done over time. If you want to share the video, you click on the video, it opens in a new tab in Chrome. You then just click the share button in the top right hand corner, enter the details of who you want to share it with or send them the link. And once you've done that, they can watch your presentation that you just recorded. So it's kind of handy if you've got like a training document or if you'd want to take someone through a presentation or maybe a proposal you're working on. This is how you do it without the need of Loom or any other third party tools. You can do this all inside Google Slides. And hopefully that's helpful for you and that's how you do it. So feel free to rewatch the video again um, if you need to. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you can get some more tips in the future.